everyone. This is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon. So um, I wanted to come on today just to explain why I probably won't be around very much on social media. Um, last Friday, the 11th of October, my mother-in-law passed away. Um, so, I mean, we weren't like really close or anything, but even so, it's still a death. And I'm not particularly good with, with death, with, well, not so much death, it's with the whole process of sorting things out and um, going through people's stuff and things like that. So this that you can see in front of you is some scratch art I'm doing, which might seem kind of a silly thing. So you just scratch off the black and it forms a picture. But this type of thing helps me with, um, well, it's one of the only things, this colouring, sometimes reading, but that doesn't always work. You know, for my anxiety, and at the moment, the depression is quite, is it's there. It's like a black cloud um, hanging over. And I, I just would like to feel normal, but I can't. Every morning I wake up and it's the same thing. Um, and there's paperwork to do. Obviously my husband's doing it, um, but there's certain things that I'm being told or asked to do. Um, there's, you know, the fact that he wants me to see her in the chapel of rest and I don't want to. Um, I, I don't want to cause a big argument or anything about that. So I'm probably going to have to do it and I know that that's going to be sort of traumatic for me. I didn't even go and see my dad in the chapel of rest none of us did because none of us wanted that image as the last image you remember it's like stuck there in your mind then so i'm trying my best to cope with stuff yesterday because she lived in dorset so it's quite a drive from where I live to and two, two and a half hours. Um, and going through her things, which I absolutely hated. I mean, first of all, going into a home and it's completely silent in there. And because I do have some psychic abilities, I can feel things, so I could like feel her presence in there, I could feel it, and people might say it's nonsense, I know it's not, because I could feel it, especially when I was left on my own in there for a while, it was really horrible, um, and a couple of times it felt like somebody touched me, so... Um, not like nasty, but just felt weird. Um, but I've felt things like that before and like all the hairs sort of stick up on the back of your neck and stuff, you know. Um, so really guys this is just to say that i probably won't be on here very much if at all um because i can't at the moment i feel like i can't feel normal like there's this cloud just hanging there over me 
all the time. Um, this is when I resort to things like this that I'm doing now, and I'm really only doing this just so you've got something to look at. I mean, I'm doing it anyway off camera, but I mean, normally I wouldn't do this type of thing on camera, but it's just so you've got something to like look at. Um, but, you know, something nice happened yesterday um, when I got back from sorting some things out at my mother-in-law's home. Um, there was a package waiting for me, which was this. The Vlad Dracula Tarot, which my lovely friend Simon had sent me um, from my wish list to try and cheer me up, which I thought was lovely, really lovely of him. And I've opened it. I mean, I'm sure you've all seen this before. I'm not going to do a walkthrough or anything. These boxes are lovely because they're rose petal, but they kind of stick because they've got that rose petal feel, but I do like them. So you've got like your book which has got that lovely rose petal feel and then the cards which I haven't um, gone through or anything but it's perfect for this time of year isn't it and look it's gold gilded I don't mind the shiny gold gilding it doesn't bother me oops making a right hash of this so yeah I'm sure you've all seen this before I used to have this as an indie deck but it wasn't coloured and it didn't have like Vlad's golden chalice and the peasant and his wife on the fall and things like that. It, that wasn't on it on the indie version. So I'm actually glad to have this colour version and with a bit more information actually on the cards because it was quite difficult to use because of that. So this was a really lovely, thoughtful gift and like I say perfect for this time of year so thank you Simon for sending me that it's really lovely of you um yeah so that's kind of it really guys um there's no funeral date at the moment because I had to get um an appointment to see the registrar which is not until the 24th of October um, and don't have the death certificate yet but you know my husband's going back next week and um, we'll do all of that um, um, you know with the funeral director and stuff because I can't be there all the time because of my mum because I'm carer for my mum and also I've got a diabetic cat that there is no one to give him his injections and things like that I mean that's another kind of worry because when it's the funeral having to stay down there but what I'm going to have to do is take Merlin who is a diabetic cat with me and then I've got somebody that can look after my two Siamese just feed them clean their litter trays and give them water and stuff um, but with insulin injections it's a bit more tricky and Merlin's a little bit of a bugger and won't let other people do it he can be quite naughty with other people so yeah so anyway, it was just to let you know, guys, in case you think, you think, oh God, she's not uploaded anything. Why, why is there no video and, you know, no deck walkthroughs or anything, even though I've got like a pile of them to do. Um, everything's just going to be put back now. And obviously, um, you know, I've not really watched people's videos. I am getting around to them, um, but I'm behind. So I've got things in my watch later. 
um, list as well. So there's that, but there is one, one little glimmer of something nice and that is Glastonbury because I am going to still be able to go. I thought that was going to be off the cards, but definitely the funeral is not going to be until November, just with a brief talk to the funeral directors. So um, I, I, I can still go as just something nice before the actual funeral. So there is that. I know some people might maybe think that's a bit off. Um, but, you know, it might help me. And, you know, obviously it was planned a long time ago and paid for and everything. But I, but never mind that. I, I know it will help me because it's, Glastonbury means a lot to me. You know, people may not understand properly exactly what it means but it's like it's in my soul that place for me i just get out of the car and it just feels magical there's just a feeling there about glastonbury that just is just amazing and you just feel when you you've been there that it you kind of recharged so that's what i'm hoping is going to happen again um that it will kind of recharge me so that hopefully i can manage the funeral because another thing that i've been asked or it's not even been asked really been told that it's wanted is um, for me to read a poem at the funeral so you can just imagine what I'm going to be like with that it's not going to be brilliant because um, I hate standing up in front of people anyway and to do that at a funeral it's going to be really difficult um, and there's going to be people that I don't know as well, some people. Um, yeah, so anyway, I won't keep going on and dragging this out and, you know, you don't want to hear all about this, this stuff, but it was just to let everyone know what's, what's sort of going on in case you wondered why there's been nothing uploaded or if I'm missing in live chats. Hopefully, you know, I won't be too much, but it just depends what I'm like at the time each day because some days are worse than others and I am seeing the doctor about um, my medication and stuff because of this um, at some point so yeah anyway I'm sorry this is really morbid and horrible but I just wanted to let you all know so yeah and hopefully I will see you in the not too distant future bye for now